Hey, this is Stan with TopEdgeServices.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use the builder layout parts uh, using the theme Ultra from Themify. Uh, now, what the builder layout parts allows us to do is it allows us to take an object or parts of a, of a layout and use it universally on a bunch of different pages. So if you have, for example, a sidebar that you want to um, lay out um, you know, on, and have appear on multiple pages, then what you do is you create it as a layout part, and then you can use it multiple times. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, why don't you just use the widget? Um, that's fine. The widget, I like to use the widget, usually um, the, the sidebar widget for the blog posts, uh, because then you can have the search, you can have all these different things, and you can have it be like the lightest post, and things like that. But then on the regular pages, I like to create, especially for like a a local business I like to create maybe a little sidebar that has their their phone number their hours of operation maybe a map to the place stuff like that and so I like to have two different types of sidebars and and so here is how you do that and you can use this for all kinds of things if you want to have a certain thing up on the top of every page or the bottom of every page and you don't want to have to go in and change the uh, the header and the footer uh, you could do that you could actually go into appearance and edit the actual code and change the header and the footer of all of the pages. However, if there's an update, then that will erase all that, and you'll be back to um, back to not having that. So, um, this is actually the best way to do it is to create a builder layout part. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I've got a page here, and I've got a little side uh, spot right here for a, a, a part. And I can take that part and I can put it on every single page. I just need to create it once. So, normally, if I was on here and I had a page, um, I could actually duplicate this page, and I could just keep duplicating it. But the easiest way is builder layout part. So let's go into a builder layout part area here. And we're going to do add new. I'm going to call this one sidebar. And I'm just going to leave it full width. I'm not going to break this into columns because that would break even that because it's going to put that this whole thing into that little sidebar. If I broke that up, it would split it up, and I don't need to do that. Let's start off with some text. And one of the things we're going to do is let's do um, phone and we'll do and that's the uh, White House. And if you hit um, shift enter, it it doesn't go as far. So if I hit enter like this, you can see it does a double, a double line. If I hit shift enter, it just does a single. So let's just let's put one other thing here, just so we have some stuff here. Okay. So now we have something in our text area. I'm going to change the style of this area. I'm going to I'm going to leave the background alone, but I'm going to make the foreground. I'm going to make that white. Um, now I just know that FFF is the color white, but I can come in here and I can choose it this way as well. And it, anytime that you have a full, all the number, or all the numbers or letters or, the, or characters are the same, you can just do the first three and it would do the same thing. Um, so I'm also going to I'm going to go padding top is going to be zero margin top is also going to be zero. Let's actually remove completely the margins. Well, yeah, <clears throat> uh, and this one it doesn't matter too much. I guess we do still need some margin in this because um, we're still inside the text box here. So I'm going to hit save on that. But in this right here, I'm going to change everything in this blue box. I'm going to change. And I'm gonna. I'm just basically going to change the background color. We're gonna make that black, which is all zeros. And here is where I want to say no padding and no margin. And you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just showing you how I do it. One thing I'm gonna do here is grab this address. So I don't have to type it up here again for you and I'm gonna put a map in here I'm just gonna paste that there and we're gonna give this um, we're gonna give it some margin here of 10 and 10 now let's hit save now we have 
our layout part created now. Now let's go in and create and add it to the page. Oops, one thing I almost forgot to do, I almost forgot to publish it. Now if I if I left without publishing, it would just save it as a draft. Um, but I do need to publish it, so now it's published. So now let's go into pages, <coughs> excuse me, and go into contact us. Now I can put it in right here. I just drag it down there. And I just go sidebar, hit save, save. And if I hit refresh on this page, we see a sidebar. Uh, now there's a couple of things we probably want to do. Probably want to bump this in. Uh, we might even want to center that. And it looks like I need to have some margin on the bottom there. And so let's just go back to sidebar or to uh, builder layout parts right here. Sidebar. And I'm going to go into styling right here and I'm just going to go right down to center. And that's going to center everything in that text box. And on the map, I'm going to add some margin right here. And usually on my maps, I, I like to uh, just go a little bit higher up on the, the zoom. Let's save. Now you remember you always save the object, but then you also have to save the page. Excuse me, there it is. So that is how you create a builder layout part, and that's how you use it. You, now I can use this same uh, sidebar and I can put it on any page that I want it on. Or I could have um, a set of images that go across the bottom of the screen, or I can have uh, something additional that's going to go in the header or something like that. So that's how you create it.